actually uh, uh, I think when I said that I uh, research is a very common word. Now, I have uh, as an academic in the open university, I have done a lot of research, but I do not think that uh, I have gone to any what you call formal uh, class to learn research. I learn research by reading about what other people have done, especially journal articles. So, as I said in my first answer, what is important is there should be a method, methodology, uh, especially the research is something very, very systematic. Now, first of all, uh, I think uh, actually I am going to bring out a book soon. Now, there are what you call uh, when you write a research proposal, uh, there are first of all, I think you need to have a topic or a theme. Then, how do we start? As I said, first then you need to come up with a very uh, exciting title, you see. So, if you do not have a very interesting title, then I do not think that you are going to work on it. So, what is very, very important is to come up with a good title, good theme that you need to know research. Then, uh, what about the then after coming up with the title? then you need to do little uh, what you call now in research we call literature review. So, what is a literature review? Literature review is first of all you must find out what are the studies done on this subject before you, then what are their limitations. So, that means uh, my answer is you must do a thorough literature review means you must go on reading about many uh, related topic, very related topics and very uh, what you call many books that are very uh, 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 what you call that are uh, that are linked with uh, with your theme. Then again, first of all, you need to have a hypothesis. But I think when you write a research proposal, maybe the hypothesis is not a must word. But sometimes in research, some people have hypothesis. What is a hypothesis? Hypothesis is a kind of a statement. Now, for example. Now, let us say uh, Sri Lankans are more friendly than in the others. Let us say that is a statement. Now, if it is, if you are going to do, do this as a research question, now that could be one of your hypotheses. Namely, that is a statement either true or not true. So, in research, what we do is whether to either to, it is to prove it is true or not, not true. Now, in my example, Sri Lankans are not friendly as others, let us see. So, so, that means first of all, you have to interview lot of people, lot of Sri Lankans, then also maybe you need to find out from foreigners, from others, whether what do they feel about Sri Lankan. Then at the end, then you say, although my hypothesis was that Sri Lankans are more friendly, but my research proved that they are not that friendly. So, like that, so you have uh, disproved your hypothesis. So, like the, the third step is hypothesis, then you must have a research design. So, what is the research design? Research design is a kind of a methodology. Now, as I said, research is a process that you have to do step by step. So, in your methodology, you have to say, how are you going to do your research? What method are you going to use? Then after, once you have designed, then you have to come, uh, maybe some universities ask you to give you a kind of ethics, whether whether your research questions are going to follow a, what you call ethics or a procedure. So, you have to say that maybe in some uh, university, there is a what you call uh, research committee, then that committee has said that you are not violating any ethics, you see. Then after that, then uh, of course, uh, you will do the, you, you should have certain research questions and then you will have uh, what you call, what are your answers to these research questions and finally, then you have, you have a conclusion and then of course, at the end of the proposal or in your research, you have to come up with a bibliography. So, these are the steps, I think step 1, step 2, step 3 like that, there, there is a procedure. It is very, very methodical. 
very systematic. So what is important is that we should know research is unlike the everyday question, it is very systematic, especially when you go to the uh, examination, the examiners will ask what is the methodology have you followed, well, how did you come to your hypothesis and what are the uh, proofs of your uh, finding. So like that, so you have to say I have done system, first of all I have done uh, lot of readings, then I have done, I have this, this is my own methodology. So I have, sometimes methodology can be qualitative or quantitative. So like that uh, research, I think uh, there is a procedure, there is a system, there is a method. So I think that's why we say that uh, research is very methodical, very systematic and orderly.